Jerry of the Circus. Jerry of the Circus. Who is it, Rags? Oh, oh I see. It's Johnny Bradley. Hello, Mr. Bradley. Hello, Jerry. How are you feeling tonight? All right. I might say exceptionally well. And how's Rags? His leg any better? Oh, sure. It's getting well fast. <laughs> it pleases me to hear that, my boy. Rags has won the affection of all of us. A fine trooper, Rags. A mighty fine trooper. Not so loud, Rags. The show's on. I surmise he wants the audience to know that although he didn't work with bumps tonight, he's right here in the pad room ready to perform. That might be. He sure likes to hear applause. He's getting to be a real actor. <laughs> you bet you are. <laughs> you know, Jerry, Rags reminds me of a little dog my son had when he was a slip of a lad. Have you got a boy? You bet I have. A grown man now, but still a boy to me. I didn't know that. Is he a circus performer, too? Oh, no, Jerry. My boy is a lawyer. A lawyer? Golly, he must be smart. Where is he? Why, uh, he's, uh, he has his office in a big city. Well, don't you ever see him? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Oh, here I... comes the Bandinis. I guess they're going to work with Annette again tonight. I didn't notice their act this afternoon. Did they have to use the net? Sure they did. Their wire's weak. Mm, well, that's dangerous. Hello, hiya. Jerry, hello, Jerry. Good evening, senor. Good evening, gentlemen. Carmen. Hiya, I'm coming. Are you going to work with Annette again tonight? I guess we will have to. We cannot get a new wire until we get to the next town. I have sent a telegram for one, but it takes time to get it to it. I think better we should go on without the net. We look like, uh, how you call it, amateurs. Better amateurs than fall and maybe break a neck. Alfredo, it's right, Carlos. We cannot take so big a chance. What seems to be the trouble with your wire, gentlemen? He's only rusty in one spot. Maybe the wire holds for a long time. You cannot tell. That's just it. You can't tell. So it's better to be careful. Why do you keep on talking, Carlos, about not using the net? Alfredo and me will not work without it, so that is settled. How did your wire get rusty? I do not know. It has been damp in this country, and no matter how we watch it and care for it, the rust, it has got started. It will not pull the act to use a net until we can get the new wire. I have not used a net since I was boy, just learning to walk on a typed wire. So it cannot be helped. Come now, maybe tomorrow we will have the new wire already. Look, it is time for us. Put on your shoes. Why don't you work one at a time instead of all going out on the wire at once? What? And not do the bicycle and the chair trick? Without those tricks, we would look like children. The people have paid to see the Bandinis perform, and we will perform. Yes, he is right, Jerry. The Bandinis never leave out one trick. It will be all right with the net underneath us. Ah, the net. Shh. Come on. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you at this time the world-famous Bendini, those renowned artists who have performed before the royalty of several continents, who have been applauded around the world, the beautiful and talented Carmen and the two clever brothers, Alfredo and Carlo. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bendini. Here they go. 
Carlos is sure brave not to want to use the net. I'm not so sure it's bravery, Jerry. Sometimes a desire for the spectacular lends itself to foolhardiness. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, look. There they go out on the wire. Carmen is sure stepping slower than she usually does. Well, hello, Johnny and Jerry. What's so interesting here in the pad room tonight? Oh, hello, Bumps. We're watching the Mandines. They're working on a rusty wire, Bumps. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> oh, gee, Rags, I didn't notice you, did I? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, partner. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> that dog is sure sensitive. Yes, he is, Johnny. <laughs> Look, at all three of them are out on the wire now. Yeah, seems to be holding them all right. Now they're going to do the ride across with a bicycle. I hope they get through without a mishap. Well, they probably will. Golly, they did it. Well, that's one of their tricks over. They seem to be working faster now. I guess the wire is all right. Well, I'm glad I'm not up there in that rusty wire. That kind of an act takes cool nerves. Would you be scared, Bump? <laughs> no use me trying to fool you, Jerry. Yes, I would. They're going to do their chair trick now. Golly, I, I'm, I'll be glad when it's over. I'm, I'm getting nervous just watching them. Well, it's a good trick just for the boys to balance that chair on their shoulders, let alone having Carmen doing a handstand on it. Yes, it is. Well, it's one of the best wire stunts I believe I've ever seen. They're getting out in the middle now. Well, Carmen's getting up now. She's standing straight up. Golly, she, she's going to do her handstand now. Look, Greg, see the Bandini's way up there on the tight wire? Just, just look at that girl. She's sure clever. All three of them are real performers. Look. What is it, Jerry? The wire. See it? It's starting to unravel. You're right. It is. And right under them. It'll snap, sure. It'll break right now. Oh, it's a good thing that net is under them. There it goes. They're falling. <laughs> they sure took those falls pretty. Carlos isn't getting up. He's hurt, Bumps. I think that chair hit him. Looked to me as though it landed right on him. Look, they're lifting Carlos out of the net. Well, Alfredo and Carmen seem to be all right. What do we do, Bob? Well, there's nothing we can do now. They're, they're bringing them out here. Quiet, Rex. We'll take them right over to our wagon. Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Just a minute. There's no cause for alarm. Everything here, is quite here. under now control. Now, you grab him by the feet, Johnny. Okay. Alfredo and I'll get hold of his shoulders. My poor brother. Alfredo, what will we do? Do not get excited, oh. Carmen. Please, Bob. You will help me. Yeah. Okay, now, Johnny. You got him? Yes. Yes, Bob. We will take him to his cot in the wagon. He will be all right, oh, yes? Oh, sure, Carmen. Come on, Rags. Uh, you run ahead, Jerry, and put a blanket down on Carlos's cot. Okay. Come on, Mike. What happened, Alfredo? He was hit with the chair. Just a good bump on the head, oh. but he will get over it. Gee, I, I hope there's no broken bones. Oh, if he has broke his arm or leg, it would be awful. Now, Carmen, do not talk like that. He is not hurt so bad. Why does he not wake up? He's unconscious, Carmen. Now he'll most likely come out of it soon. Well, if that chair hit him on the head after falling 30 feet, he's got a pretty bad bump. I do not think it hit him so hard. It just knocked against him. Uh, now, here we are. Easy now. Alfredo and I'll go up first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready in there, Jerry? Uh-huh. I got this cot all fixed with a blanket and a pillow. Yeah, that's a good boy. Shh. Uh, sure, Rag, stop it. Carlos is hurt. Uh, now, easy. Easy with him now. Yeah, that's it. Lay him down easy. Oh, Carlos. Uh, Carlos, it is Carmen. Uh, I'll go and see if Mr. Randall has been notified and find out about getting a doctor. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, be right back. Get some water, Jerry. Okay. There's some in this jug here. Oh, Carlos. Carlos, wake up. You must be quiet, Carmen. It does Carlos no good if you are so excited. Here's some water. Oh, here, put some on this towel. All right. Now, we put it on his head. So. Oh, my poor brother. He will be all right, you will see. Didn't I once bounce out of the net and was unconscious, too? Oh, the wire. The wire. Oh, Carlos. Oh. Yes, Carlos. Oh. You are all right? Oh, Carmen. Alfredo. Yes, yes. Lie still, Carlos. Is he coming, too, Mr. Bradley? Yes, he is. He's coming out of it now. Oh, what? What is it? Oh, my head. Oh, the wire broke, Carlos. Oh, are you all right? But we he... are all right, Carlos. Just rest easy. Soon there will be a doctor coming. Uh, I will be all right. I know now. The wire broke. Yes, Carlos, but the chair, it hit you on the head. Now, let me sit up. I feel better now. Ooh. Maybe it's better you lie still. No, no, I, I will be all right. Have you got any broken bones, Carlos? Yes, Carlos. Look and see if there is something more wrong. Oh, I hardly think it is more than that to hit on the head. Is there something I can do? Oh, Jerry... So, so you saw it, huh? Uh-huh. 
So you will take my place now, yes? Oh, Carlos, you're not hurt bad. No, he is joking already with Jerry. He is fine. Mm. My arms are good. My legs are good. I'm lucky, yes? You are lucky we had the net under us. Yes, we would have been killed, all of us. I will never hear the last of it that I didn't want the net. No, we will say no more of it. I do not think I need a doctor. I've had pumps like this on my tough head before. In your good physical condition, there's little doubt that you will rally quickly. What do you mean? He means Carlos will get over it quick. I would go up and do the trick right now. That's the spirit. You performers believe in going right back for more, don't you? That is the only way. He must work tomorrow, or maybe if he wouldn't, he would become afraid and never work on the wire again. That's the way airplane pilots do. And that is right, Jerry. It is so easy to lose your nerve after an accident. Well, how is he? Okay, boss. Well, well the patient's sitting up already. Ah, huh? There is nothing wrong with me, Bumps. I just want to sleep. I took a little nap. Well, are you sure there's nothing wrong? He seems to be coming around all right, Bumps. Sure, I was only fooling. I wanted to be carried to the wagon so I wouldn't have to walk. I guess we know if you were fooling or not, Carlos. Fooling? Uh, you were, how you say, out like a light. Oh, uh, Mr. Randall is sending a doctor right over to look at you, Carlos. Uh, it is a waste of time. Yes, but it's better to be absolutely sure, Carlos. Uh, you know, we may have a bad night ahead of us. What do you mean, Bumps? You mean about the trestle being too weak to allow our train to cross that river? Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Randall just received another telegram from the division superintendent of the railroad, saying that they would not route any trains over the Horn River route until they could fix the bridge. Hmm, that is bad. Now, what does Mr. Randall intend to do about it? This morning when he got the first telegram, he said he was going on through. He said he was going to play the next town regardless. Yeah, and that's what he said when he got this last telegram. But how can we cross the river if the bridge won't hold the train? Well, he wired ahead and told him to try to reinforce the bridge. Mm, that sounds like a big order. Well, he insists on going as far as the bridge anyway. Then if it doesn't look safe, he said he'd find another way to get through. I, for one, have absolute confidence in Mr. Randall's judgment. Well, I guess we'd best get back for the last walk around, Johnny. Say, it is almost time, isn't yeah. it? Well, you take it easy, Carlos. I'll help Alfredo with your packing tonight. Are well, you ready, Johnny? Yes, coming, Bumps. Well, yeah. goodbye, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Goodbye, goodbye, Johnny. You Thank you, Bumps. Well, Jerry, I guess you had some excitement tonight, yes? I'll see. But I'll bet there'll be a whole lot more when we get to that broken trestle tonight. 